Hi, I'm Tim Biker, Product Manager for Kernan Group Ravenna, and today I'm going to talk to you about the new Vicon Fixed Bail 500 Heavy Duty Fixed Chamber Bailer. So, starting from the top, we're going to do the pickup reel the, where the crop starts coming into the machine. This is a brand new pickup reel, 2.3 meters wide, 1.98 meters time to time dimension. Extra ride working width, but narrow transport width with the Vicon cam tracks at either end mounted right on the outside of the pickup and the patented internal drive system where the drive sprocket is inside the width of the pickup reel, we keep a narrow overall width. The pickup wheels are no wider than the road wheels so you don't need to take them off when you're traveling down the road. This pickup reel's got uh, longer tines. It's got uh, narrow gaps between the strippers for, for good cleaning in wet crop conditions. It's got uh, an innovative keyhole system fitting for the uh, pickup wheels. The pickup is pivoted about the centre line of the rotor so that when we lift on headlands or the cross swaths we have 30 centimetres of clearance under the wheel, so very big ground clearance so you don't take crop in when you don't want to if you're travelling across a headland. Pickup flotation with springs over the cylinders, so a good flotation, easy adjustable flotation effect by moving this uh, circlip up and down and these grooves, although normally speaking it wouldn't need to be changed. Looking at the crop press, uh, crop press has a, a big range of movement on it. Internal bearings on the rollers so that there's no chance of crop wrapping into the bearings. Moving onwards, looking into the intake system, then we have an uh, intake rotor 520 millimeters diameter. A 15 knife supercut cutting system, individually spring protected knives, uh, and a steep cutting angle, so we get very good cut quality when we're using the supercut knives. The system is protected with a pivoting drop floor, and it's called a parallelogram drop floor, which is unique to Vicon. This means it doesn't just pivot and go down at the back, but also the front of the floor lowers at the same time when you lower it to clear a blockage. That's a fantastic feature because normally the blockage occurs in front of the rotor just behind the pickup. So increasing the clearance at the front as well as the back is a massive uh, improvement to clearing a blockage easily. Moving on now and looking into the drive line. We're starting at the front, heavy duty PTO, wide angle joint, uh, heavy cam clutch at the back end, 2200 Nm setting. So a very strong setting there to deal with heavy wet crops. That's driving into a one-piece integrated gearbox at the front of the machine. This is an integral part of the machine. The, the drawbar and the stand are both mounted directly onto it. There's no separate drive shafts and bearings. It's all part of, of one big gearbox. Coming out, looking at the, the drive, the right-hand side is taken to the uh, rotor and the left-hand side is driving the bow chamber. Inch and a quarter pitch chains on all of the bow chamber and the rotor drive including the tailgate. Some competitors only have one inch pitch chain on the tailgate. It's, this is a heavy duty spec chain HPC specification, which has been proven to give a very good compromise between ultimate strength and durability and stretching over a long period of time. Daily maintenance has been taken care of. A very easy to use adjusters with a pointer down either side. You only have to walk around the machine and have a look every morning check that the pointer is in line with the plate on every tech chain tensioner on the machine. Large diameter sprockets, taper lock fixing so there's no movement, no possibility of any wear over the lifetime of the machine compared with sprockets that are fitted with keyways or splines. We're looking at the oiling and the maintenance of the chains. Big oil tank, six litre capacity, enough for a big long day's bailing. The oiler system with colour coded pipes to every single outlet and if you actually wanted to adjust it at individual outlet to any particular uh, chain you can look at the colour coding, look at the colour of the brush and in a particular area of the machine you can just screw it in and out a little bit and adjust the, the flow. Moving around now looking at the bale chamber at the rear of the machine. It's an 18 roll bale chamber so the, the chamber is completely enclosed, there's no big gaps anywhere between the rollers. We have two rollers in the bottom of the chamber to support heavy wet bales, so it reduces the stress compared with machines with only one roller in the bottom of the chamber. The rollers themselves are fitted with 50mm bearings both ends. 
and on the drive side in the sixth main low quality run with a double row 50mm bearing. Quite some competitors run with this type of bearing but none of them have got more than six. We, we will not be beaten on bearing specification on fixed bar 500. And when we look at the bearings and lubrication for the bearings, we have grease banks located in four places on the machine, one on either side of the bail chamber on the left and right, and then one on the side of the tailgate. So this grease bank is a sequential system, so you just put a grease gun on the end on the one single grease nipple, and you pump, and then there's a shuttle system inside that meters the same amount of grease to every bearing, so you know that every bearing is getting the same amount of grease. The bail chamber concept, we're running with a double acting tailgate, double acting hydraulic tailgate, so we have hydraulic density control. This gives you the advantage that you can control the, uh, the bail pressure from the tractor seat from the control box, so it's very easy to go in and use the same setting over and over again, compared with working with a, a, a manual adjustable valve that you're not quite sure where you've set it from one field to the next. Moving forward to the front of the machine, looking at the net system, we have the unique Vicom power by the net system. This is a fantastic system used on all of our bailers. Positive injection of the net. There's no feed rolls. The net is held in a, in a, in a type of duct drill injection pipe that takes the tail of the net all the way into the bale chamber. It's a fast acting system, not affected by wind, not affected by crop buildup, very reliable. And the other fantastic feature is it's very low loading, like lowest on the market. No other competitor has the, the net wrap loading that this low. So, fantastic system, very, very reliable. Quickly looking at the control system then, we've got this Focus 3 terminal, uh, which has a colour screen on it. All of the main settings for working the baler are controlled from this screen. Bail counters, bail density, net quantity, automatic or manual operation, selecting the pickup, drop floor and knives, all done from the control box. And that, I think, is a, pretty much concludes a quick walk around. Thank you. My way of farming.